Okay, today we just want to show a little bit about using the external file structure in NDS. When most people get their first copy of NDS and the base setup looks just like this. So right under farm structure, you'll see the area where you get your feeds, your recipes, you open your recipes and composite here. In the recipe section, the way it sits now, you can open up internal recipes that are from farms that you made in your directory tree under farm structure. But what we want to do is just show how to use the external file system. So whether you go to database here or also in settings, there's a database tab here. So let's go into settings. And you'll notice the database tab right here. It opens the exact same little tab that you saw before in that database above the settings tab. But if you click on database right here, you'll notice that this says enabling handling session files or recipes. And if you click that, you'll get a little feature in your NDS where you'll be able to save and open external files. And I want to show you some of the benefits of doing that today. The other thing you probably need to do to make full use out of this thing is to, use, to click on this set folder default. And that should come up with an NDS session file here at the end. So what it's doing, it's creating a copy of your, it's going to help you create an external copy of your internal directory tree of all your farms. So the default, when you click the default folder, it'll create one in your My Document files on your C drive and it'll create an NDS session file folder there. The other thing that we can use when we're doing that is under database over here in reports is you can click over here and you can click on this where it says save the reports in the final folder. If you click on this, it'll automatically save your reports into your final folder that you've designated over into database. You may not see it here or you can just scan real quick through and go to your libraries, your documents, my documents under my documents, a Windows thing, and there will be your NDS session files. Say OK and you'll notice it there. So now you've set up inside of your database, you've opened the external file structure, you went over to reports, and you are going to save your reports in there. So now when we close out of that settings tab, you'll notice that you have this little extra button here that says open external files. The one thing that you need to do the first time is to just go into farm structure, and what you'll see is here's all the farms that are in my farm structure. There's a tab called Managing Pathways. And this button actually allows you to create your internal file structure, replicate that in this NDS session files that's been created in your documents. Right now you can see that mine are already in there and yours will probably have nothing in there. And what you can do is just go ahead and click on update folders and then this file structure will be replicated into that NDS session file folder there. So now once that's done, then I can close this. And then I would, I'll show you just in my AAA demo farm. I've got that open. And what I may do is I may save that and save that as a demo 2 with today's date. And save the description as same as the personal name. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. 
And now what that has done is it has it already saved an internal copy in my directory tree, but it's already automatically saved an external copy in my C drive, user, my documents, NDS session file, AA demo, lactation fresh barn. So all I have to do is click OK, and it's already sent it right to there. One of the advantages of using that also is, is that as I'm busy making reports in here and I, I decide I want this report, then I can go right over to Utilities, right over to Create a File, and I can create this Demo2 file, and it's already chosen Lactation Barn Fresh Pen. With Windows 8, it's covered up that it's already in the AAA demo. If I click Save, it's already saved. It's showing me a preview of what's going in there. The same thing can be done with your, with your mix file. So here's my mix. I want to save a 2,000 pound batch of this. I can take it right to printer. And here's my mix. I can do the same thing going to create a file. The PDF is here. Here's my mix one. And I can say that this is for my demo. Oops, my demo dairy. And then of course I would put the date on it. And it's putting it in that same file folder there. So it's a very easy way to take all these PDFs that I'm saving all the time and stick them right back in with one click of the mouse into that external file structure. So if I go to my documents and I go to my NDS session file and if I scroll down to my AA demo uh, here is the AA demo farm I stuck that in here is the lactation barn I stuck it in uh, fresh pin and again here are Here's the, the uh, demo too. This is the external file. So that's an external copy of the NDS file that I can easily email to a colleague and they can open it using the external file structure, look at it, make some changes, send it back without it ever going into their NDS. Here are also those two reports that I just created. So here we are at 216, 217, 218, all the work that I just did is permanently saved in my documents externally. I'll always have a copy of that. If I send that off to my colleague, the, the recipe, the ration, they can open it up using this external file. So really what we just wanted to show you was just the value of having that external file feature. Number one, easy way to back up your data. You can put that on a thumb drive automatically. My, in my documents, that looks like a data file, so it's going to be backed up in any automated backup systems. Um, email, I can email it to my colleague real quick. They can look at it, send me some notes back. Um, very simple procedure. Plus, all my, all my PDFs, all my reports are saved automatically like that. So a couple mouse clicks and you've got some good savings. So what we'll do next is show how to transfer some of these files. But this one is just creating the, and uh, setting up your external file structure.